A few months after he removed India from special trade status, Donald Trump is attending the Indian Prime Minister's rally in Houston, which is actually targeted to the Indian diaspora living in the USA. The Indian American community is very wealthy and influential, and this has been recognized by the American government. In 2005, the US Congress passed a House resolution which praised the stellar work done by Indian Americans in all walks of life. Today, India has arrived at the center stage of the world. The USA is keener than ever for India's friendship, but America's love affair with India is not supported by a solid history. On various occasions, America has changed sides, depending on the geopolitical situation and its own selfish interests. There is no denying that there is no friendship between nations in the global arena. It is all about mutual interests. But how far can a nation go to serve its own selfish interests? Can a nation also support those who support terror? Well, America has done that. Today, America claims that it supports India for its democratic values and ideological similarities. But during the Cold War, it was keen to build a stronger relationship with China and Pakistan to weaken the Soviet Union. Ironically, during those days, America overlooked India's democratic values and the country struggled to rebuild itself from the damage done by the British, who summed them as the common historical oppressor of both nations. In 1971, during the India-Pakistan War, the USA supported Pakistan. However, it did earn from selling weapons to India. In 1998, India successfully conducted nuclear bomb test explosions and as a result, the USA imposed economic sanctions on India. But soon, America realized that India's growing economy and huge market could not be ignored for too long, and those sanctions were lifted. As India's economic status grew over the years, so did America's love. In 2010, it even backed India for a permanent seat in the UN Security Council. Today, the USA sees India as a stabilizing force in Asia, which can neutralize China. But India is known for its independent foreign policy. Probably only India can try to have a good normal relationship with China, Japan, America, Russia, Iran, Israel, Palestine, all at the same time. India is a net security provider in its immediate and greater neighborhood, but it believes in non-alignment. It acts independently and it doesn't like any external pressure on its bilateral ties with any nation. For the last 70 years, India has dictated its own terms and has survived many ups and downs. It can even be said that India's future is bright, with or without the USA. But is the USA's future bright without India? See you again.